Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from dancetube.tv and it's that time again, it's drone time. I feel like I say that a lot, but it's the hobby that never stops giving. We constantly see new drones dropping onto the market and this one's a special one. We've got the Mavic 3. It's been over three years since the Mavic 2 Pro was released and on the 15th of November, we're gonna have an event called Double the Fun where we see the brand new Mavic 3 from DJI. Amazingly enough, we've already seen a ton of leaks. We've got photos of the drone, we've got spec sheets from the drone, we've got even sections from the manual to tell us what to expect from this drone. But the first thing you really need to be aware of is if you're about to buy a drone, hold out. Hold out just for a little bit longer. The event is coming on the 15th of November. Not long to wait. And then from there, we're gonna be seeing the Mavic 3 Pro. So that means previous models of drones are gonna come down in price. And maybe if you're thinking about getting like a high-end one, like a Mavic 2 Pro, or even, you know, the Air 2S, the Mavic Air 2S, even though they've taken out the Mavic name, then maybe you wanna hold out because the Mavic 3 is gonna have a lot going on. With all of that being said, here is everything we know so far about the Mavic 3 Pro. As you can see right now, we've already got photos of the Mavic 3. We can already see it in all of its glory. It looks gorgeous with that massive camera on the front. It's actually got two cameras built into that box on the front there. It's also got a little bit more of a kind of sporty, stealthy design, which is something I really wanted to see from DJI again. I was getting over that same aesthetic where it just looked bog standard for every single drone that came out. I guess that I would liken the Mavic 3 design to the original Mavic Air design. Now, when that came out, the Mavic Air, I really love that design. That's still, to this day, one of my favorite drones, just in terms of its aesthetics. When you look at it, it's gorgeous. Now, the Mavic 3 has kind of taken a page from the book of the Mavic Air, and I'm really happy to see DJI going away from that standardized look that we've seen in the last however many drones. They pretty much all look the same now, they're just slightly bigger with a different camera system. But it looks like they've gone for a slightly different design here. We've actually got like a hood on the front, a scoop where air can get taken into the actual internals of the drone to cool it down. So we've got that scoop on the front. We've also got some more like vents down the side and it kind of just tucks in a little bit more, a little bit more curvy, a little bit more unique. And it still does look like the previous Mavic range. The Mavic 3 doesn't feature one camera. It features two cameras in the one camera system. Insane, something we haven't seen before. It actually features a telephoto camera as well as a wide angle camera. So again, the two camera systems in the one camera system. So it's a big box with two cameras, very unique design. And we can see there's a H on the front there, which would signify that it's gonna be a Hasselblad sensor again, or Hasselblad technology, which we haven't seen. We know that DJI had that uh, acquisition where they either bought out most of Hasselblad or partnered with them. And they released that unique camera system on the Mavic 2 Pro, which was three years ago. And now we haven't seen anything since that initial release. And it looks like the Mavic 3 is gonna be the first drone since the Mavic 2 Pro to feature Hasselblad technology, which is very exciting. And to have it in potentially the two camera systems, or even if they just include it on the Micro Four Thirds camera system, that would be insane. Diving deeper into the camera systems and the sensors that these two camera systems have to offer, the telephoto camera has a CMOS sensor and it's a half inch sensor with effective pixels of 12 million. So it's a 12 megapixel sensor with a half inch CMOS sensor. That's really exciting. And that's the lower end of the camera system here because when we go onto the wide angle camera, that's actually a micro four thirds system. So it's a CMOS four over three inch. So it's a micro four thirds system with effective pixels of 20 million. So 20 megapixels with a micro four thirds sensor. That's insane. I'm really excited to play around with the wide angle camera. It's actually got a mechanical shutter, which is something we haven't seen in the consumer and like low end prosumer range. We saw it with the high end um, Phantom range, which was great. And one of those things that stood out over the Mavic 2 Pro, for example, but now to have that mechanical shutter in the Mavic 3 is gonna take it to the next level. From what we can see, the telephoto camera has a fixed aperture of f4.4, 
where the wide angle camera actually has a variable aperture of f2.8 to f11. So very exciting to see what a mechanical shutter with variable aperture and a micro four third system is going to look like in the real world application. And I also wonder whether you can interface between both cameras, like can you use the telephoto as well as the wide angle at the exact same time? Do you have to choose one or the other? Really curious to see how that works. The next big piece of news is the flight time. Now, this is going to blow the competition out of the water. From what we can see, the Mavic 3 is gonna have a flight time of 46 minutes. 46 minutes per battery, that's insane. And on top of that, you can finally charge the battery while it's in the drone. So you can just plug it in, charge that up, and then have your charging dock if you've got the fly more combo to charge the other two batteries. So effectively you're charging two batteries at the same time, as long as you've got the two cables, obviously, you've got the charging hub as well as the cable to plug into your drone. But that's massive. And I love the fact that we can finally charge the battery while it's in the drone, as well as using the charging dock as well. And that 46 minute flight time, if you've got three batteries, that's insane. That's so much flight time. The other thing that is very interesting is it looks like we're gonna have three different models. So we're gonna have the Mavic 3, just as a standalone drone with the controller and the one battery. You're gonna have the Fly More combo, which we have with every single drone that comes out nowadays. And then you're gonna have the Cine Edition. Now from what we can see, the Cine Edition is gonna include the brand new smart controller that will get announced alongside the Mavic 3. And in terms of price, it looks like the standalone version of the drone, just the Mavic 3, bog standard, the controller and one battery, that's gonna set you back $1,600. It's a fair bit. And then when we're looking at the Cine Edition, that potentially is gonna look at $2,600. That's US, that's a lot of money. I'm based in Australia, that's, that's a lot of money. But you know, you're getting something ridiculously amazing here, but yeah, be prepared to spend a lot of money on the Cine Edition if you want that smart controller as well. The Mavic 3 Cine Edition is going to feature a built-in SSD. From what we can see, it's a built-in SSD of one terabyte. So that's a massive improvement over previous built-in storage we've seen, which has only been eight gigabytes. So a built-in SSD of one terabyte is gonna be insane. You're gonna take away the whole issue of swapping out micro SD cards all the time. And from what we can see as well, the drones are gonna be able to capture 5.2K video. So the three models are gonna be the exact same. The drones aren't gonna change at all, but the main change is gonna come with that built-in SSD and also obviously the smart controller as well with the Cine Edition. And on top of that, it's gonna be paired with a high-speed cable that enables data transfer at one gigabits per second. Insane, insane stuff. And it's gonna make the world of difference to people out there who capture 5.2K video. We also have improved obstacle avoidance here. Now we don't know the full extent to what the Mavic 3 can actually do. My assumption is that it's gonna have a full omnidirectional, like full 360 degree obstacle avoidance, which we've seen in the past, but it's gonna have more of a dome design to the obstacle avoidance. So that means it will actually have a wider field of view to be able to see everything. And if the sensors are placed in the right positions, the drone will be able to see everything, 360 degrees in a sphere all around it, which hopefully will enable similar tracking to what we've seen with the Skydio range, where it can just track you autonomously without any issues. It maps out the entire environment and basically never crashes. And that's something that I would love to see. I know DJI have done a great job with their tracking. Their active tracking is fantastic. And I tested it with the Air 2S. It, it really does an amazing job. But I think if they could push it a little bit further and maybe even have some fun, um, I guess, intelligent flight modes or some unique tracking experiences that make it stand out a little bit more over Skydio, then that would be really exciting. But I think it's just definitely going to have improved omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. So it's going to be a lot better in all environments. I'm guessing that we'll see all of the features from previous drones compiled into the Mavic 3. We'll even see Master Shots, which was a new introduction to the Air 2S. I'm sure that will, you know, make a beautiful little entrance to the Mavic 3 as well. And the thing I'm really curious to see, obviously we've got an improved camera system, improved flight time, improved obstacle avoidance, but maybe we'll see some other features, like some other built-in intelligent flight modes, or maybe some more advanced tracking modes, something a little bit more unique that might make it stand out over their other drones on the market. You know, even their competition on the market, 
but more so to make it stand out over their range of drones. So it really is like the pinnacle of consumer drones or prosumer drones at this point, especially like the pinnacle of folding drones. And I would also love to see a really advanced waypoint system where we can program and plan out missions within the drone. You know, this drone with a micro four thirds sensor, you know, a lot of professionals are gonna be using this drone. So to be able to replicate flights time and time again with a waypoint system that's fully you know, implemented into the application, that would be phenomenal and I would really love to see that. So that's everything we know about the Mavic 3 so far. It's gonna have three versions. It's gonna be announced on the 15th of November. It's gonna have a high-end Cine version, which from what we can see uh, based on the actual manual that was leaked, it looks like that smart controller, the new version two of the smart controller will actually be available in that Cine edition. And then it will also have a built-in SSD with a one gigabyte or one gigabit um, per second cable or transfer rate between your devices, which is insane again. And then that built-in one terabyte SSD is gonna make the world of difference. The camera system is gonna be great. That 46 minute flight time is really revolutionary and something I'm excited to play around with. And then also obviously the improved uh, obstacle avoidance as well. It's gonna be a feature packed drone. Hopefully there's a few surprises that we don't know. It feels like we've kind of had Christmas early and I'm hoping that there's a few hidden gems, a few secrets that we don't know just yet that will come out very soon with the announcement of the drone. But anyway guys, that's the end of this video. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Are you gonna get the Mavic 3 or are you gonna hold out for another drone or is it maybe too expensive for you? Are you thinking about getting maybe the mini range or the Air 2S? Let me know, check out my channel if you haven't already. I've got tons of content on all the latest drones from DJI. You can check those out and make your informed decision based on those videos. But that's it, I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace.